Today we're going to be learning about author's purpose. This will be an important thing to learn as we start to work on point of view, which we'll do later this week. Let's go ahead and begin. Our goal today will be to learn how to identify the main purpose of a text, why the author wrote it. To do that, we'll need to learn what author's purpose means and two different purposes the author might have. We'll also learn how to use clues to figure out the author's purpose. Let's go ahead and get started. Author's purpose is why the author wrote the text. It can be to inform or to teach. That's one purpose the author might have. Or it can be to persuade or convince you of the author's opinion. That's another purpose he might have. Lastly, we can use clues from the text to figure out the author's purpose. Let's give it a try. Read along with me. Spain is a country in the continent of Europe. The capital of Spain is called Madrid, and its official language is Spanish. Spain has both a king and a prime minister. Spain's national anthem is called the Royal March, or in Spanish, the Marcha Real. Spain is the 51st largest country in the world, and it has a population of over 46 million people. In Spain, people use the euro as currency because Spain is part of the European Union. A person from Spain is either Spanish or a Spaniard. Spain's neighbors are France, Andorra, and Portugal. We can figure out the author's purpose by looking for clues, and we can organize those clues in a graphic organizer. You can make one yourself, it's just two columns. On one side, we'll have what the text says, and on the other side, we'll have what the author's purpose is based on what the text says. What we're going to put in the text says column are clues from the text. We need to look for clues and we need to find clues that go together. That'll make it easier when we organize, our, when we organize it to put it in our graphic organizer. Let's take a look. The first clues that I find are that Spain is a country in the continent of Europe and Spain's neighbors are France, Andorra, and Portugal. Both of these clues go together because they're both talking about where Spain is, or Spain's location, so we can add that to our graphic organizer. They're giving us facts about the location of Spain. Let's look for the next clue. The capital of Spain is called Madrid and its official language is Spanish. It's the 51st largest country and it has a population of over 46 million people. It also uses the euro as currency. These are all facts about what Spain is like. So again, the author is giving us all this information to help us understand what Spain is like. So we'll add that to our graphic organizer as well. Let's look for more details. Spain has both a king and a prime minister, and Spain is part of the European Union. These both give us details about what Spain's government is like. So they give us facts about the government. Let's add to the graphic organizer. And let's look for all of the other details that we might have missed. Here we go. Spain's national anthem is called the Royal March and a person from Spain is either Spanish or a Spaniard. These details teach us about what the culture is like in Spain. So we'll add that to our graphic organizer. Now we're ready to look at our graphic organizer and figure out what the author's purpose is. The text tells us that there's facts about the location, information about Spain, facts about government, and it teaches us about culture. Hmm. When I think about these, I have to ask myself, is the author trying to teach me something or is the author trying to convince me of his opinion? If you said the author is trying to teach you something, you're exactly right. All of these facts and information are definitely trying to teach you what Spain is like. 
Let's try it again with a different passage. Read along with me. Everyone should visit Spain at least once in their life because it is an incredibly beautiful place. Spain is a country that is full of beautiful architecture that ranges back both to the Caliphates and to the Christian kingdom. Spain also has a rich history of music and dance, and anyone who enjoys dancing will have a good time in Spain. Spain also has some of the most delicious food, which includes a variety of seafood, soup, and rice dishes. Spain's beautiful scenery, enjoyable music, and mouth-watering food are some of the reasons that everyone should visit Spain. We can use the clues again to figure out the author's purpose. We'll use the exact same graphic organizer. Now we need to look for details that go together. The first couple of details that go together are pretty obvious to me because they're the exact same. The author says something twice, which is probably an indication that it's pretty important. Let's remember that for later. Everyone should visit Spain. They say it once at the beginning and once again at the end. So if everybody should visit Spain, that's the author saying what they want us to do. They want us to visit. Let's look for another detail. Hmm, I noticed that the author talks about beautiful architecture and beautiful scenery. When the author uses words like beautiful, it's important to note that that's his opinion. The author is telling us what they think is beautiful. You might think that everybody has the same idea of what's beautiful, but I think you can probably figure out that that's not always the case. Sometimes you probably see somebody wearing something that you thought think is terrible, but they thought was really pretty. It's the same basic idea. Everybody has a different idea of what beautiful is. And in this case, we're hearing what the author's opinion of beautiful is. So the author is giving his opinion on architecture and scenery. Let's look for another detail. Oh, the author is talking about how if you enjoy dancing, you'll have a good time, and how there's enjoyable music. Notice the word enjoy. This is a lot like beautiful. If the author is just telling us what they think is enjoyable or what they enjoy doing, not everybody enjoys the same thing. So this is another time where they're giving us their opinion about dancing and music. So let's add that. Great, let's find any more details. Oh yeah, the author is talking about how it has the most delicious food and mouth-watering food. If you're thinking this is another opinion, you'd be right. Delicious is another one of those words that everybody has a different idea about. This is the author's opinion about the food. Let's take a look at our graphic organizer and figure, if, see if we can figure out what the author's purpose is. The text tells us that the author wants everyone to visit, tells us the author's opinion of architecture and scenery, tells us the author's opinion of dancing and music, and it tells us the author's opinion of the food. So now we have to ask ourselves, does the author want to teach us something or does the author want to convince us of their opinion? That's right, the author is trying to persuade or convince you to visit Spain. Remember, that's the first detail we listed. Everyone should visit Spain, and it was so important they said it twice. So that's the author's purpose in writing this. I hope that information helped, and I know that you'll be able to do this on your own using all of that practice that we just did together. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. Good luck!